Alright, what is going on you guys? It's your boy White Album here. Welcome back to some more Suki Hime, a piece of blue glass moon. Last time we left off, if I remember correctly, uh, we saw the boy Vlov. And he uh, absolutely wrecked shop at the hotel that Arcoid and Shiki were staying at. Uh, hold on, sorry. I had to clean the top of my uh, cup here. And uh, basically, Shiki and Arcoid got to escape by the skin of their teeth, essentially. Now we were back at uh, Arkawade's house and she, she duct taped herself up <laughs> from her wound, which is kind of insane. Um, but now we're going on a nice little stroll to a, I guess like, I don't know, like a CVS to find some uh, some medical supplies for the girl uh, Arkawade. So let's keep doing it, man. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Day five, fire and blood. Part two. I thought up here. I thought up here. Hold on, my, my light is like bright as shit right now. Yeah, seriously. What does she think she's doing? I'm annoyed. I can't stay here a second longer. I dash into town, hoping to find something that'll help her heal. At least, that was my intention, but it's like I'd never uh, given first aid before. I'll just buy whatever supplies come to mind. Disinfectant, gauze, bandages, and some painkillers. Oh, and better pick up something nutritious too. Can't really go wrong with that. Thankfully, I'm not short on money. And hey, you're fucking rich now, bud. It might be my experience speaking, but it's better to buy too much than too little. It's not like I know what exactly work on, uh, what? It's not like I know what'll exactly work on Arcoid. With that philosophy in mind, I end up buying every single thing I can think of. It's like a variety pack of bandages. <laughs> Those are the different colors. Wait, we're back at the... Okay, that was fast. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Ugh. I ignore her carefree giggles and protests, and instead try to apply the gauze as delicately as it can. The wound isn't that big. No, it may, uh, it may be not, what? It may not be big, but it's at least four centimeters deep. A laceration across the abdomen like this would be fatal to any normal human. I'm telling you, it's not a big deal. Yet that's all she has to say about it. Her organs already healed up somehow. Honestly, that part is freaky, so I don't really want to think about it too hard. Since the bleeding has stopped, all I need to do is dress the wound. Though the process wasn't as smooth as I hoped it would be. I wasn't sure if the disinfectant would do much on a wound as big as this, if it, uh, or if it might actually be counterproductive, but in the end, I used them anyway, hoping it would help. I was a little afraid that Arcade would thrash about from the antiseptic sting, but she sat through it quietly without so much as a flinch. Hmm? Did you just do something now? I'm not sure if she's just thick-headed or indifferent to this kind of thing. Yes. Alright, there we go. I apply the gauze to the wound and start neatly wrapping the bandages around it. <laughs> Stop, Shiki! No! <laughs> Arkway's gleeful laughter rings to the room. You don't flinch at all from the antiseptic, but the bandages feel ticklish. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Everybody <laughs> just said that. I ignore her till I manage to pin the bandages. I heard that tightening bandages around the wound can stem the bleeding, so I give it a one final tug for a good measure. Ow, ow. Hey, I'm gonna have to deduct some points for that one, Shiki. Whew. Well, looks like I've done all I can for now. The curtains are closed again. I shut them when I return for, out of concern for Arcoid. Well, at least it looks like all right, it looks all right from the outside. How's it feel? Can you still move? Yeah, looks like I can move without any issues. My answers are are still a bit uh instead of what are still a bit of a mess though, so I probably shouldn't go too overboard. You're gonna have to bear with me. It's been a while since I hot minutes I played this. 
actually I had planned on recording this at the time of filming this on uh, Monday but I was just doing some things that required me to go to like a whole nother city. So I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm good for today. I'm just going to relax. Uh, got it. You'll just have to bear with it for the time of, uh, for the time being. I'm good at cutting things, but fixing someone up is a little out of my wheelhouse. I take a step back and sit myself down against one of the walls. She has a perfectly good chair right there, dude. <laughs> Uh, good job staying awake for so far. Staying awake so far. You can sleep now. You recover faster when you're asleep, right? I'll stay on guard, so go get some shut eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you even said so yourself, didn't you? Sleep has nothing to do with recovery. It just helps you cure your fatigue. That's true for me too. My strength will recover soon enough. Uh, once time. Uh, what? My strength will recover once enough. Once enough time has passed. I don't know why I had problems with that one. I should feel better by the time night rolls around. She could tell me she's fine all she wants, but it tugs at my heartstrings to see her suffer like this. Why did you care? You killed her. <laughs> I mean, obviously, look, it was out of his, you know. So it was like a one-time thing with Shiki, but let's be honest here. Oh, look, no need to act tough. Just sleep already. It's hurting you to even talk, isn't it? Yeah, but you're finally awake. It feels like a waste for me to sleep now. Arkowitz sits on the bed again. She's in, uh, she's in full on chat mode. Or chatty mode. <sighs> Fine. There's no fighting it. I've still got some things I want to know anyway. So I guess we might as well talk for a while. Arcoid, can I ask you some questions about what happened at the hotel? Yeah, I had a feeling you might ask about that. That man we met, Vlav. Who the hell is he? I get that he's a vampire, but he looks more like the part than you do. I mean, he had those flashy clothes and everything. Then again, there were those blue flames out of, that, of his that engulfed the hallway, but only burned but burned only humans. Uh, that's only totally removed from my image of a vampire. <laughs> What do you mean he looks more than the part than I do? But well, you're right. Hey man, Vlad, yeah, he likes to dress nice, man. You can't blame a man for that. He's maintained a mostly human form, and his principles pretty uh his principles pre what? His principles pretty small scale. Damn, alright. As far as vampires go, you can say he's on the orthodox side. Aside from that river of flames, anyway. Right, the flames. So you think there were weird too, then? Does that mean he's actually stronger than you? Arkwit he's a side tinge with annoyance. <laughs> About that. Because a certain someone killed me. I now have fallen to the uh, I have now fallen to the level of some second rate dead apostle. Someone who's like I'm more than me. <laughs> 
if you compare the two of us as we are now, I guess the scale of his power is a little bigger. So, so I see. So if it weren't for your poor condition, you'd be able to beat him somehow? <laughs> Forget somehow. It wouldn't even be a fight. And whose fault is that, that I have to suffer this humiliation anyway? If it weren't for you, I would have squashed that half-baked ancestor with a single glare. Oops, she's angry now. That said, I'm not asking how strong she'd be in a hypothetical situation. I need to know if she's able to defeat that vampire the way things are. There's no way. He's simply stronger than I am right now. If we went head to head in a battle of pure strength, he'd kill me outright, no question about it. <laughs> That's a pretty cynical take. Especially after talking such a big game. It's the truth. There's no use hoping, uh, hoping or speculating when the situation is this obvious. The impact of her words reverberate through my chest. It seems Arkwood is dead serious when it comes to fighting. Seeing her talk so coolly about death just rem just reminds me that she's a vampire, over uh, she's a vampire all over again. Ma. I get what you're saying, though. Those flames of his are a problem, and his power alone is at the caliber of a Castellan. Oh, I'm saying that. Am I saying that right? I haven't been corrected yet. I'm, I'm just gonna keep saying it. <laughs> if only I knew a little bit more about him, I might be able to make up for a gap in power. You don't know him? How can she not know him? Didn't she come here to kill this Estella in the first place? I don't know any vampires personally. Any that I do meet, I'm already killing in the next moment. I really encounter one and end the conflict with both of us walking out alive, like now. Huh. But it, it kind of felt like he knew you, though. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs> That was our first meeting. I'm pretty well known among vampires, which is why he knew about me. But generally speaking, we vampires aren't exactly well acquainted. That said, it's not unusual for us to have heard of each other's names or background. The longer a powerful vampire lives, the more likely it is their name will get around, you know? But Vlav is different. He's new to this, so he hasn't made a name for himself yet. I guess he only came in it became an ancestor in the past 200 years or so. Ancestor? You keep using that word, but what does it mean? Hmm. I guess you could say it's someone akin to a king or a ruler among vampires. But you don't have to worry about that too much, or you don't have to worry too much about that. Well, I will anyways. 
Are you saying ancestors are basically the same as those Castellan things? The ones who control zombies. Not even close. Any powerful dead apostle can become a Castellan with time, but that's more like becoming the lord of a local territory. The Elven Lord. Ancestors stand high above them. In fact, they're the ones who bring forth Castellans. The world of dead apostles is divided into 27 different factions. So I guess you could say the world is split into 27 kingdoms over which they rule. Ancestors are older vampires that lead those uh, kingdoms, or rather, their nations unto themselves. They stand at the apex of all dead apostles. 27 kingdoms and 27 rulers. Makes sense to me. I guess even vampires vie for power, just like humans do. Hold up. Doesn't that mean we're dealing with someone super dangerous? She's like, motherfucker, I'm dangerous too, big dog. <laughs> Not just him, I'm dangerous too. She's like, look, before you fucked me up, I was the strongest of them all. Probably, I don't, that, I mean, that could be the case, I don't know. I'm assuming so, right? Yeah, she would be the strongest of them all. Uh, I mean, as we see her. Not, not currently, but before. Or is there like someone actually stronger than her? That'd be, it would be insane. Uh, yeah, that's right. Vlav is still a fledgling ancestor at this moment, but to you humans, he may as well be a natural disaster. Take what happened at the hotel. All Vlav did was make his way up to the top floor. He had no intention of killing all those people. He didn't care about them in the slightest. Yet they still died. Those flames follow him like a curse, flickering to life and devouring those around him through his mere presence. What in the... He just has to exist for people to die around him? And he doesn't even care about humans? I mean, he's a vampire. I'm pretty sure he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> but doesn't that also mean... But doesn't that also mean that... Did all that happen because of us then? Because we decided to flee to the hotel? That's right. He came for me. And she gets like, oh, thank God. Oh, it's your fault, not mine. Okay, we're good here. All right, I'm leaving you. I'm going back home. I'm fucking done with this shit. Just leave me be. <laughs> Arkawaite confirms my fears. Vlav's presence might have been what killed all those people, but we were the ones responsible for bringing that disaster to their doorstep. <laughs> It'd all be too easy to blame Arcoid for everything. I'd have every right to do so as a human. She's just a vampire. She doesn't even care about human life. Vlav and her have that much in common. But then again, who was it that made it so she had to flee and all up in a hotel somewhere? Uh, 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 in a hotel somewhere? Well, I mean, to be fair, it probably would have happened here in the apartment, right? If he's looking for her. Well, no, because I guess the thralls are the zombies that we was using were kind of like a, I guess the indicator of where they basically just like like they just relay information back to vlog he's like okay well we saw them they're up here but yeah i feel like that, that probably still would have happened here in the in the apartment complex but i with uh, with vlog's defeat if we're talking about a the fuck was that yeah like a fucking firework and uh, i hope of, no who the fuck is still finding uh lighting fireworks on the 23rd of july what the hell what are you doing here um as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted 
Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's just like, it would have to happen before Shiki showed up and killed her. But because Shiki killed her, the, the, it led the events of like everything that happened at that hotel. So who deserves the blame here? The answer is simple. There's no one person responsible for getting these innocent bystanders caught up in Vlob's flames. The only Percival, the Percival, <laughs> the only person who's responsible for Arkwood's present state. I'm the person who killed her in the first place. Shiki, don't fall for that same misconception again. Weaker creatures getting eliminated is part of the natural order of things. If you're trying to find where the fault lies, then blame the human species for evolving in such a way that made them unable to defend themselves. I don't know, we got guns. I mean, look, we created silver bullets for van uh, for uh, for werewolves. We'll find a situ we'll find a solution for vampires too. That's just what you call the human spirit, all right? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now, Art. Let's be real here. If a person kills another person, by human standards, it's judged a crime. But if a human is killed by something other than a human, it's simply natural selection. Holding yourself personally responsible is, is arrogance. You're calling me arrogant? <laughs> yep. You're acting as if you represent as, what? You're acting as a representative for the entire human race. <laughs> Let me try a different example. Imagine if in the mountains somewhere there was a herd of carnivorous animals whose diet, whose diet happens to include humans as well. But one day, an unwitting pack of hunters comes roaming through and kills them off for their own consumption. Who's at fault in this situation? The beasts that weren't able to fend off humans? I mean, to be fair, I, I, it, it, like, face to face with, like, I don't know, a fucking bear who, you know, who happens to be carnivorous? <laughs> uh, I think it could fend itself off pretty fucking well. <laughs> or like a lion? I don't know. <laughs> or the humans that wiped them out. I... Arkaway's parable shakes me out of my self-loathing. It wasn't a fable she made up to comfort me, but one laden with scorn and disdain. The burden of guilt, the weight of life, something I, and maybe humanity in general, are overly concerned by. I understand what she's trying to say. In her story, neither the humans nor the bees carry any sin. What happened was simply nature, the way of the world. The only fault lies with the species unable to ensure their own survival. But this is... The human world. A human city. This isn't a matter of humans being too weak, or vampires being too strong. A city is a place where weaker humans can congregate for shelter and protection, to be stronger together. So it's fair for me to question my own responsibility in bringing a vampire into this sanctuary. Sounds like I was mistaken too. You never had the makings of a serial killer. He's like, what the hell? Are you saying I'm soft? Well, you're anemic, so yeah. It's bigger than that. There's something we need to get straight. What are you planning to do from here on? Go home? <laughs> will you fight the vampire or will you run? 
私はもう強制はしない見張り役の約束は昨日一日で完了よ Choose for yourself I won't force your hand anymore You've done enough guard duty already Back to the hotel Or back at the hotel Alright, we're gonna save here if this is actually a choice, so <laughs> Teach me Miss Arkawade <laughs> That's the name of that thing I guess the name of this segment She's asking me what I plan to do next Isn't that already obvious? If you continue, I'll need you to I need you to be prepared. But fighting against vampires means leaving your humanity behind. No matter how many of you die along the way, you can't let yourself be distracted. Or else you'll break. Look, I broke the second I woke up and I saw fucking lines in my in my vision, okay? If you don't have it in you to do that, then go back to how you were before you got involved in any of this. That's how humans ought to live. Arkwood's sharp gaze pierces right through me. I know what I should do. I want a chance of living a, new, a normal human life, I should run. Out of all my options, distancing myself holds the best outcome for me. But. What about Arkawade? What's best for her? No. I shouldn't, th I shouldn't be thinking about her. I should be putting myself first. If I stick around here with her, I'll undoubtedly run into that monster again. He was out of this world. Not just as a vampire, not just because of his flames. His very eyes were void of normality. That deadened stare, bereft of emotion. Cold to all things. A creature who cares nothing for the lives of humans, or even those of his vampire brethren. There's no way I could face, my, uh, I could face him again. Having nearly been killed once already, I know that fact in my very bones. I've got to refuse. I have every reason to. No matter which way I look at it, this entire situation is way out of my league. Arkoid. I... But is that really the right thing to do? I'd be abandoning Arkoid. Like, she brought you into this, alright? Look, we know you killed her, but she had no reason to come back to life. <laughs> Arkoid. The woman who's weak, who's weak and unable to move around properly, all because of me. I... I'm just running away. Running away from that monster that mercilessly burned his countless victims alive, without so much as a second thought. Can I really pretend that never happened? Forget what I saw and live on as the only human survivor without even a pang of guilt? I'll find, I'd find a way. I'm the only one who can see the lines of death. Hold on, let me re-say that again. I can, I'm the only one who can see the lines of death. Someone important once told me I'd given these eyes because uh, there might come a time when I need them. So the answer is obvious. I might not be able to rid myself of doubts and fears. I'm not even sure I'll be able to make a meaningful contribution. But what I'm sure of is that I want to do something. Shiki? Shiki? Look, Arkawade, I'm sorry, but I just can't close my eyes and pretend nothing's happening. Even if her foe is inhuman, even if I'm powerless to do anything about it, I can't shirk my responsibility here. A lot of people died while I stood by and watched, and I don't want to and I don't want that to ever happen again. What I'm trying to say is that I can't run away, bro. You're stronger than me, bro. I'd be like, you know what? I'm done. You know, that you're all you're all on your own, pal, and I'm fucking leaving. I'm Leaving, all right. I'm fucking gone. 
I go back home. I'll take whatever punishment my fucking sister has for me, and I'm just gonna keep living my fucking life. All right, just I don't ever want to see you again. <laughs> like seriously, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to school. I'm gonna talk to my my friends, and I I don't know. I'll become a fucking doctor. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna become. That's what I'm gonna do. I sigh deeply and stare up at the ceiling. There we go. At least my resolve is finally ri a rock solid. I'm gonna take down this vampire. As the only human survivor from that hotel, I owe it to the ones who weren't so lucky. My, uh, my affirmation is just as, as much for myself as it is for Arkawade. Arkawade sighs, as if I'm bl as if blaming herself for my decision. <sighs> well, in that case. I can't exactly send you away. Plus, having you around is pretty useful. You could kill Vlov with just a single blow. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Their air around that guy is way too hot. I'd never get close enough. Besides, how are we even going to find him? Find him? One second you're thinking about running away, and the next you're planning to ambush the guy. A little extreme, don't you think? Hold on just a second. I sneeze and I hurt my back. Fuck. All right. Okay. Here we go. Back at it. Back at it. I feel like Shiki could be more successful if he had a gun. I don't know. Because it's the same premise, right? Except, except with a knife, a gun, or like a, like a, like a, I don't know. Like you know, like in like like FPS games, or like other zombie games, like they have like the the gun that shows like the buzz saws. What if he had that? That would be wicked. That way he doesn't need the knife anymore to be precise. He just shoots the thing and it hits them. They just instantly die, bro. He would be OP. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to be fair, it's going to be a little awkward running around with a, a buzz saw gun, but it would be just as cool. Or just as useful, in my opinion. All right. <clears throat> hey, you were the one who made it sound like you wanted me to, or... Uh, one of me too. Besides, I don't want to hear that coming from the living embodiment of extremity. I just value efficiency, that's all. <laughs> well, whatever. Just to tell you though, this is going to be a battle of endurance. Uh, hold on just one moment you guys all right and i'm back sorry i had some important IRL things to do here uh okay here we go ideally we ought to stay out of his reach until i recover enough of my strength I'll be back to 30% of my power in three days or so. That should be more than enough to defeat Vlav on my own. Three days. But then... え。その3日間、ブローブは野放しよ。あいつは地下に潜って人間から血液を補充する。うん。それだけじゃない。あの様子からすると夜の街を徘徊するかもしれない。I know. That's three days where Vlov would have free reign. In that time, he'll go underground and continue to replenish himself with fresh blood. No. Not just that. 
I think there's a, a good chance he'll be wandering the streets at night too. It didn't look like he was in his right mind. He might even he might not even be conscious of the fact that the church will go after him if he keeps operating out of out in the open. No way. That guy incinerates people around him just by existing. We can't just let him walk around for one more day, let alone three. Well, that, uh, which leaves us the option of, 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 of finding him during the daytime and killing him. But I'm against that. I've gotten a rough idea of where he's hiding. There's nothing more cautious than a sleeping dead apostle. We could very well be walking into straight into an ambush that we can't handle. Seriously? We're just gonna let him be? Despite knowing where he's hiding? I told you, Shiki. We can't allow ourselves to be distracted, even if this means more people will fall victim to Vlav. I swallow hard. I understand what she's saying. If we're to play it safe, or even stand a chance at all, then it's better to wait for Arkway to recover from her wounds and rein her, uh, regain her strength first. But on the other hand, the more time we waste here, the more victims will fall right into Vlav's hands. I. I am going to search for Vlav right now, and I should at least wait here till the till evening falls. Okay. Uh, well, sometimes you gotta pick your poison there, Shiki. So we're gonna have to wait here, man. You gotta pick your poison on some things, ladies and gentlemen. That's how life works. You gotta pick which one's the lesser of the two evils. My heart says we can't allow Vlav to remain on the loose for another second. But that would be reckless. What, what was I even thinking? That I could just go out there, find him, and kill him myself? That was just a scenario conjured up by my guilty conscience to tempt me into escaping reality. I need to keep a cool, level head. If I really want to defeat that vampire, and if I really want to reduce the number of casualties, then we have to stick it out for now. But even so, three days feels like a lifetime. Arcoade. You told me my duty as your guard ended at that hotel, right? I did. Why do you ask? Did you get cold feet? Yeah, so Janaina. No, no, that, that's not it. If my help is going to be voluntary instead of obli obli obligatory, there we go. Then I'd like to ask you for a favor as well. I'll do whatever you ask of me. Follow your every order. I'm not sure if I could do much of a, as a shield, but at least I could be your knife. I think sword would just sound a lot more suave there, Shiki. But in exchange. In exchange. I don't want to wait three days. Let's throw him out tonight. Uh, are you sure? Arkway appears at me skeptically, as if she's asking me whether or not I have a death wish. I'm well aware it's dangerous, but I'm not planning to back down from this either. Does it sound like I'm joking? Arkway 
I'm not planning on dying either, so answer me this. If you rest until tonight, and I use my eyes during the fight, will the two of us stand a chance against Vlav? The only capable of making that judgment is Arcoid herself. Ah oh, shit, hold on. Fucking touchpad. <laughs> if she says it can be done, I'd wager anything I or everything I have on those on those odds. So yeah. Hmm. I mean it's not a bad idea. I guess if you're willing to do any, uh, willing to do everything I tell you, then together we might have an edge over him. Are you sure though? It'd be safer to wait another three days. I get that, but this is about as much slaughter as I can tolerate. Any more, and my spirit won't be able to bear it. Well, as long as you're sure about it. To be honest, it would be equally tough to stay on the run for three days straight. Anyhow, sounds like it's time to switch gears. Let's drop a battle plan. Where do you want to face him? Uh, I mean, is this really okay? I'm genuinely shocked at how easy she let me have my way. I was expecting a lot more pushback after seeing how serious she can get about uh, get about battle. I told you it's fine as long as you're sure. Ooh, oh, I apologize for yawning so much. I don't know why I'm like yawning so much. I'm not tired. I'm just yawning for like so much. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter anyway. Whether we run for three days or kill Vlof tonight. Either uh, either plan has about the same odds of success. It's just that changes. Uh, it's just that your chances of survival are much lower in one than the other. I see. Thanks, Arcoid. Is she gonna is she gonna pull out the whiteboard again? <laughs> it's not exactly the option I would have recommended, though. Honestly, I don't get what's going on in your mind. I understand my selfish request will make it harder to defeat Vlob with certainty. So I wasn't surprised that Arkaway looked a little dismayed by it. After all, she's all about efficiency. But I was surprised that she didn't reject it outright. I'm not sure if she did it to respect my feelings, or she just figured it wouldn't be much uh, have much of an impact on her overall odds. Either way, I'm glad she had agreed that she agreed to side with me. How about we take a quick break? You must be hungry, right? Would you like some more of what you had earlier? Or should I whip you up something new? No, I can make something. I'll just help myself to whatever's in the fridge. I'll be, I feel bad for not trying it, but I don't possess the fortitude to stomach whatever heaping of ingredients Arcway slapped together on the plate. Maybe if, we're in a, if I were in pink edition. No, not even that. Bluff is already plenty dangerous. If a confrontation with him is inevitable, I better I'm better off avoiding Arkway's lethal cooking at the very least. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so she can't cook for shit apparently, which is funny. I quickly I quickly cook, cook up a simple meal before returning to Arkway. We've outlined a rough plan. Now we just need to refine it. The main issue is the fire. Unless we manage to do something about that, neither Arkway nor I will be able to get close enough. 
So basically, our only option is to hit him with a surprise attack or a hose. I don't know. He's got his eyes on you, so we could use you as bait to lure him out. To make sure to hide somewhere nearby, then when he's focused on you, I can jump out and attack him from behind. How's that sound? It's a sloppy plan, but it's not like I can think of anything better. Though, it still doesn't solve the problem of the fire. Yeah, I think that's a good start. I'll lure him out, then you deal the, then you deal the finishing blow. Since it's you, it won't matter how much fight he's got left in him. Uh, you can take him down straight away. There's still one more problem. Forget about me for a moment. You're going to be facing off against him. What will you do about that fiery claw attack of his? Hmm? That shouldn't be a problem at all. Judging by the last time he hit me, I guess his fire was only around 3,000 degrees. If I focus on making my body more heat resistant while I recover today, I'd be perfectly fine. Say what? Only around 3,000 degrees? I'm pretty sure even rocks start melting at that point. The flames surrounding him will be even easier to deal with. They're pollution that, loose, that loosely clings to the surroundings. Whenever you jump out, it should be a cinch to blow them away from you. I couldn't do that back at the hotel since you were behind me. But it'll be no problem this time. It'll be a cinch, huh? It almost feels too simple. This slapdash plot of ours. I, but I should put some faith in the woman who saved me from him the first time. Sounds like we have a plan. First, First, I'll act as the bait to draw out Vlav while you uh, while you wait and hide. When Vlav comes, he and I will fight for a bit. My strength won't be able to won't be enough to take out Vlav on my own, but it'll be sufficient to clear the area of his fire and hold him in place for a while. How are you planning to hold him in place? Don't tell me you're planning to slam him down to the ground and pin him down. Nothing quite so barbaric. I don't think it's a good idea to try and wrestle with him. I've never done it before, so I wouldn't even know where to begin. Besides, there's a much better way. So, so right. So exactly you're planning to hold him in place? Depends on the place, but generally, I'll just use my chains. Chains. As in change? Yeah, you know like Kushina from Naruto? How she had like the chakra change? It's, like, it's the exact same shit. Yep, like this. Oh, fuck. What the hell? A pair of chains just clamped shut around my wrists. Where did these even come from? Mm. 
とにかく何十本と重ね掛けするから動きだけなら封じられる。The combined chemical elements already present in the air. Chains are just a shape that's easy for me to visualize. I'd say each chain can handle about. Well, at the moment, maybe a hundred tons each? Don't worry. I plan on hitting him with a few dozen of them at once, so that ought to keep him in place. He's like, that's cool, but get these off me, please. I'll target his limbs so you have a clear shot at the lines on his torso. I got it. So please just let me go, please. C come on, unchain me. Or else my hands will fall off before we even get to face Vlav. The chains dissolve into thin air, disappearing just as quickly as they appeared. And here we've got another example of how ridiculously overpowered Arcoid is. But if she could call these chains in and out of existence, then she should be able to tie down Vlav. Okay, moving right along. As soon as I spot an opening, I'll use those chains to bind Vlav's arms and legs. I'll only be able to hold him in place for about 10 seconds, so that's when I'll need you to jump out from your hiding place. Come out head, uh, come at him head on and cut through the, uh, cut through his lines. And don't worry too much. Killing him should be a piece of cake for you. Come at him head on, huh? Arkway says like it's nothing, but I don't feel quite as confident. You can't count on me to do uh, doing things I've never done before. You brought up the, you made the plan, dude. It'll be more practical if I approach him from behind and slice through his lines around his hands and feet first. That way, we can rob him of his movement and... That way, Arco wouldn't have to fight him. I'd like to save any fighting for if, uh, for, uh, any fighting for if my ambush fails. I'll look at Arco to see if she approves of my plan. Cheeky, you'll die if you do that. Uh, huh? We're not trying to figure out the safest route. Nor are we trying to figure out how, uh, how not to die. We're trying to figure out how to kill him. You're right, I guess, but... You'll be fighting a vampire. So for tonight, I need you to leave behind all sense of human morality. That kind of baggage will only weigh you down in a fight. I get that. We're fighting a monster, so I'll be ready to help you in any way I can. No, no, I don't think you get it at all. Seriously, his limbs first? That's suicide. If you have the time to cut his limbs, you should be going for a killing blow instead. Don't get hung up on killing another living creature either. You're the only one who can do this, so I need you to do it properly. You get it? We can't afford to give Love a window to strike back. Your only advantage is that he doesn't know your, uh, who you are or what you're capable of, so don't waste it. Arkaway leaves me with no room for objection. Her crimson eyes say it all. What? Her crimson eyes say it all. She's telling me if that I miss my first shot, there will be no more. There will be no second chances. And she has a point. 
Every second I waste cutting through his limbs is another second in which he can engulf my body in flames and burn it to a crisp. Well, not the first time, right? <laughs> that should happen in the, uh, in, the, in the bad ending, which was kind of insane. Vov will come for us once night falls. That's when we're going to kill him, Shiki. In the truest sense, we're going to bring an end to him. Not, that, not after how the story's going to unfold. Because we got a lot of story going on. <laughs> Our strategy here isn't about survival. It's about killing our opponent, plain and simple. Don't let anything else distract you. Her gaze is fierce with disapproval. She's really angry. Angry at the fact that I'm still being so naive about all this. Alright, I got it. I won't hesitate. I'll cut through his lines in one fell swoop. That should be fine, right? Their ferocity in her gaze doesn't dim for a second. At least her silence suggests that she approves of my new attitude. So that just leaves us where we'll ambush him. This apartment wouldn't be any different from the hotel. We need somewhere where, with nobody around and a place for me to hide. Let me guess, an alleyway? この町の中央公園が最近深夜になれば人通りはないんだし、それでも通りかかってしまう人がいたのなら、それは純粋にその人に運がなかっただけの話でしょ。And the park will do. No one goes there at night, and if someone does wander through there, then they'll just have to chalk it up to their own poor luck. I mean, look, the last time somebody walked into a park late at night, he got stuck with two witches. <laughs> he got stuck with two witches that he had to live within a whole mansion for like a year. Arkway looks away and turns her back at me as she speaks. What is it? If you got something to say, then say it. No. It isn't gonna work. You haven't even uttered the word the word kill once. I don't know. There was like a whole part that I did where y'all just said nothing but the word kill. <laughs> at this rate, you'll hesitate at the last moment, and he'll kill you in a snap. So what can I go home now? I'm not gonna hesitate. This guy's murdered hundreds of people. Why would I ever regret uh, uh, ever uh, what why would I feel regret over killing him? Arkway sighs softly. If I were to enthrall you with my mystic eyes, I could so easily ensure you finish off Vlav. It's strange though. This is the first time I've ever felt the urge to charm someone like that. And the first time I've ever hated the thought of doing so. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> Do what now? <laughs> You're gonna what me? <laughs> Hmm. What a weird contradiction. I believe in you, Shiki. Let's go take down Vlob together. In a flash, her grim tone takes on its usual upbeat uh, lit again. Lilt? Lilt. That's the word. Okay. Her eyes seem filled with trust, yet I can see concern creeping into her smile. Is that what the fuck? Oh, what I got to lose, man. <laughs> but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're going to end it, man. We're going to end it right here. And we're going to be at the park ready to strike down Vlav. Is it going to work? Probably not. Because <laughs> there's still a whole lot of this story that we have not seen yet, so...
of course we're not going to finish him off in this first. We might we might hurt him, might damage him, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what they do. Let's see what they do. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. I will see you guys next time.